For every Hawkeye not named Nicholas Bear, Friday will be the first time they get to participate in the NCAA tournament. But all of these guys grew up loving the sport of basketball and have their fond memories of March Madness, some with a more direct experience than others. We played Vanderbilt. We were a 13 seed. We beat them by 20. Um, and I remember just you know being in the hotel. I went to the practice with the team. You know that was my first memory, and that was one that I'll always remember. It was so fun. Now I'm here, you know, being on the team myself. You know, this is this is a dream. While McCaffrey had a front row seat with his dad in Siena, others were dreaming of what it would be like at the big dance. It's been surreal. Uh, I just been been really thinking about all the times that you know I was a kid in the driveway shooting hoops, counting down the clock, uh, thinking about the moments in your head. You know, using your imagination and uh, to finally be here and get to live it it's uh, it's pretty crazy I always filled out a bracket and uh, you know I had like some daycare program after school and I would always you know make the you know, make the counselors put the games on so I just sit there and watch right after school and then, <laughs> for senior Nicholas Bear it was the tradition of attending the NCAA regionals around the Midwest that he remembers most me and like a family friend and my brother would always go uh, to just like the nearest one, Milwaukee, Chicago, Omaha, uh, Kansas City a couple times. The intrigue of basketball in March is built on special performances by various collegiate stars. And whether it was last year or a decade ago, it's something these current Hawkeyes will never forget. When I was a junior or a senior in high school, we were in the Bahamas when Buddy Heald made his run. I was a huge Tyler Hansborough fan when I was real, real, uh, real little. A Jimmer Fredette, uh, when he was just killing everybody in the tournament, pulling up from almost half court. And starting Friday, they're hoping to create a memorable moment for fans across the nation. Some fun memories there from the Hawkeyes, many of them getting their first taste of March Madness tomorrow morning at 1115 when they tip off against Cincinnati. Reporting from Columbus, Ohio, Dan Vasco for Hawkeye Headquarters.